Bonjour, bonjour. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, we're gonna make it so that you can add some forms into your cart and ask your client additional information like gift messaging or just extra like notes for the delivery maybe or just packaging notes in general. We already made a video on how to code in your own gift wrapping uh, to your cart and you can check that video over here. This video is going to be really more focused on the actual message so that your clients can communicate to you. All right. Enough about that, let's just jump straight into it and then you'll see what we can do. So uh, we're here in the back end of the store and maybe first let's look at how the store currently looks. Um, but, 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 but there is a bit of loading here. We go to a product, we add it to cart, we view the cart, and as you can see, there is no room for adding any messages. Uh, there isn't any room in the checkout either. As long as you're not Shopify Plus, you can't modify the checkout. So this is definitely not a Shopify Plus store considering it's a demo store. So if it's not here, you can't really add it. So that beautiful camera film, if I wanted to add a note, say, please um, ship it in with toilet paper, I don't know, I'm running out of ideas here, then I can't communicate that to the store owner. But we're about to change that. So um, for that, you are actually going to go into the link in the description below. You click on it and you're going to get the step-by-step -step overview of what you need to do. We're going to walk through the same step-by-step -step overview right now. So the full code and instructions is below. And if you follow those instructions, you will see that we will give you a link that looks like this one. You go there and this basically generates the code for you. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. You can select the type of your field that you want here. So let's say we want to add a long text field. So it will look something like this, that the client, so the, a long text field or a very short text field, it's up to you. Or we can maybe do a radio button that the client chooses um, where it's um, gifts, um, is it use radio button? gift not gift i'm really running out of ideas it's the end of the day here so then people can choose oh this is a gift or this is not a gift um or what else do we have here drop down so there's a bunch of things you can choose from this we're just going to keep it to the classic text uh, actually we're going to do the long one we're going to make it required and we're going to name it right here please give us instructions um, there you go. Then the code is basically generated for us right here. So we're just going to copy it to the clipboard. And then we're going to actually put that into our store. Now we go to online store right here. And as I say in all my coding videos, this is super important that you make a duplicate of your theme. If you don't make a duplicate and you make an error, you are stuck. So step number one is back up and make a duplicate. Don't work on a live version. To do that, you click on actions right here and you click on duplicates it's going to be creating a duplicate. By the way, if you're worried about this team score, I made a video explaining this report right here and what you can do about it to change that. Um, so check that out while this is duplicating. Um, and it should be ready any moment. Oh, here we go. Our duplication is ready. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in the code. Again, we're going to work on this version, not on the live version. So click on actions right here and we go to edit code. Okay, so once that is done, we're now in the code and we're going to go to the search bar right here and we're going to look for the cart dot uh, dash template liquid file. It should be in the sections. So right here, cart dash template. When we click on it, all the code appears and you will see that normally if you scroll through it, you will find form tags. So the form should start with, this means that we're opening the tag, then it says form and then the actions and the method. So this is the start of your form tag. And normally if your code is clean at the exact same height, so at this height, there should be the end at some point. Keep scrolling. 
the edge should be here and but that's the end of the table oh there is the end of my form so right here so that's the end of my form. So we want to paste it somewhere in between here. You can do a little bit of trial and error because depending on where you're going to post, paste it in here, it's gonna change um, location on your cart page. I am just going to post it at the very end. So I'm going to go right in front of the closing tag of the form. I'm gonna press enter a couple of times. So there is a couple of spaces created. And then I'm going to uh, paste what we copied from this site right here. So remember, we clicked copy clip, clipboard. I can't talk for some reason. And we're going to paste that in here. Now, uh, I just like to make the spacing a bit better. So that's just me. that but don't worry too much that's just the spacing for the styling so um, it's a bit cleaner and then I'm also going to do this um, for uh, up, 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 um, and cart the reason why I'm doing this is that um, if another developer walks into this, they can, they understand what that piece of code is for, because that's always good practice. Um, it's not mandatory what I'm doing here. When it's grayed out like that, it means it's actually, it doesn't count. It's counting as a comment in the code. So it's not really code, it's just as an instruction for anyone reading this code. Um, and this way, when an, another developer after me walks into the code, they can kind of see it and be like, oh, there is the start of the code. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. There is a start of the code for the messaging card. That's um, this little code bit. So if they want to play with it, they can easily remove it or identify it. And they immediately know what this is for. That's why you always comment your code. It just, you're keeping it clean that way. But no need to do it. You can just paste it right in. Just make sure that when you paste it, so when you when you paste this, whatever you create here, when you paste it, just make sure that it is between this and the beginning of the form right here, which is this. Just make sure it's between those form tags. By the way, when you open a tag, it looks like this. See, this is a tag that's being opened. And then when there is a uh, forward slash that means that the tag is being closed um, so here you can see the form is being opened the table is being opened and at the very end right here the table is being closed uh, and then we keep on going we're going to see that the form is being closed right here anyway what matters is that you put the code that you copied between the form tags once that is done you can save it right here and then it's time to check out if it worked. So for that, we're going to go to the online store. Um, make sure, remember, we just worked on this version right here because the last save just now, we have not touched this one. So uh, we're going to go into actions. We're gonna close all of this. We're gonna go into actions, preview. And normally our message uh, option should be available here in the cart. So we go into vintage camera or whatever product we add it to the cart. Um, oh, we view in the cart right here. And there we go, give us and please give us instructions and I can write whatever I want here and the shop owner will get the message. And then I can check out. So it clearly works. Now our code is not alive just yet. So for our code to be live, we actually need to put uh, our theme live. So for that, once we checked it, we make sure it works the way we want it. We click on actions right here and we're going to go to publish. It's gonna ask us, are you sure you want to put this version of your code alive so that clients of yours can see it? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Let's publish it right now. And there we go, that should be it. Now on our live version, so if we remove this, 
on our live version, uh, we're going to see that the message is accessible in the card. And so everyone, oh, my card is empty. And so everyone can, uh, can add a little message to their uh, their order so there you go i hope that helped um i'm andrew again i do a whole bunch of shopify vi shopify videos my mission is to teach you teach my youtube subscribers everything i know about shopify when i'm wearing the green hoodie i'm doing coding otherwise i do app reviews i talk about shopify strategy and marketing i talk about a whole bunch of stuff shopify related so make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content it really really makes the world to me means the world to me these videos take a long time to make anyway my name is andrew from ecomexperts.io i hope you enjoyed it and i see you in another video adios